In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your gate.io wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to gate.io, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if in doubt, send a small amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. So you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So if you want to know how to find your wallet address on gate.io, you will need to log in. Then you want to hover over assets in the top right. Then you want to click on funds management to expand the menu. Then under deposit, you want to click on chain. Then on the next screen, you want to click the coin dropdown and pick the crypto you want to deposit. You can browse the list, but searching is a lot quicker. I'm going to search for USDT, which is actually already selected. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks or chains, and it's important to check which network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network or chain, then you risk losing your crypto. So I'm going to pick the ETH slash ERC20 network. So now you can see your wallet address for this specific crypto and network. If you change networks, for example, if I change to the Solana network, you will see a different QR code and address. To copy your address, you can press the copy address button, which looks like two sheets of paper below the deposit address. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code with a mobile device. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you've got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.